welcome back guys it is shadow man they had another dragon ball in this video so quick announcement right now the anniversary is five is five days away okay five days away coming out saturday so i hope you guys are prepared everything turn on crystals resources zenny and especially souls and i don't even and i have any ever since then um Ever since then, I've been grinding some stones. I hope you guys know that. I hope you guys know that some super souls, some Zenkai souls, and just some soul stuff. And that's all. Make sure y'all got. Make sure you guys have like some multi Z power. I have this for sparking. I have this for just limited, and I have like all of these. Even one for make sure. This I'm gonna I'm gonna save it for the anniversary sparking. Oh guys. I'm sorry. I am excited for this anniversary. And the reason why I'm so excited is because basically today, we just got a leak of what can come for anniversary. Literally. And it's in the game. It's in the game itself. It's in the summon page. This is the official leak to see what we can get for the anniversary. This, obviously, they're buffing Universe Rep, okay? That's the first hit. The second hit is we almost have every single universe rep unit in this game. And obviously, they're going to bring a new universe rep unit that's going to buff universe rep. Not like some random universe rep character that just doesn't buff it. They're obviously bringing some new um, universe rep character that's going to buff it. And the only universe rep character I would say element factor we did not get is we had got all of them. yes oh it could yeah but the character that we, the only blue character that we don't the, oh, sorry, the only element factor we barely have for universal rap is blue and highly in highly suggesting that Goku and Frieza, if that's if they're coming out, might be a blue. Or any character might be a blue. But also, if it's a tag character, I highly doubt it's not going to be blue. Because one, we just got a blue character, which is the blue voice. Again, I tried to summon two rotations on this character, and I did not pull them. And even before anniversary, I still tried to summon on them. And they just got straight up backfired. I even summoned on this banner one time. Dumb me. I summoned on this banner one time. I actually pulled... Goten in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So, I was happy. And now I'm back to my amount. Luckily. I was at 3,992, but since I had like one day to get Chrono Crystals and I grinded around 700, I should be fine. But this better is basically the official leak of what attack they're going to be buffing and what character could be coming out. Because, again... I know some people are sitting on this banner because they don't have Android 17 or they're trying to send high um, evolution with Jeter or etc. 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 I'm just saying right now, even though Android 17 is an absolute godlike of a unit, I still don't advise you guys to summon on this banner. I mean, you guys had all January, maybe even some of February, to even be able to pull this character. Like, I know some people didn't get ass lucky. But again, the anniversary is not that it's not that long away, okay? It's actually less than eight weeks away. It's five days. So come on, man. And also and also This Android 17 is I don't wanna be rude. But this Android 17 is not even the best character in the game. Like if she was top three, then I like, if she was, not she, oh my god, if he was top three, maybe something on his banner. Even though anniversary characters are actually going to surpass, um, Android 17. Like, top three, so maybe something. But, obviously, obviously, this, this is people's opinions. That doesn't mean it's true, but it is people's opinions. If we go here, and we scroll down. Basically, Android 17, the LF, is the 7th best character in the game. 
when it comes to Sparkies, obviously, like Boo could dominate her, like Boo could dominate him, Rose could dominate him, Gogeta could dominate him, Hit could dominate him. Well, I would say not really, unless Hit has time skip or Element Factor neutral. But obviously, he if he has time skip, then he'll straight up demolish Android 17. Boo, boo, boo Bros. Well, it's a close match. But still wins against Android 17. And Super Vegito has endurance. Plus, this dude would do magnificent damage if he gets Zenkai boost. Baby. Um, demolishes him. Other than that, Android 17 basically demolished every single character that you see on here. And, I, and I'm so surprised how now people just decided to move Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku down to 13. I don't know what the heck is wrong with him. He even has revival. He has revival. And you guys put it. Android 17. Okay, I get that. I get that. But he has revival. And literally, you guys put Beast Gohan over this dude. Uh, uh, Beast Gohan is not the MVP, and they say, I'll be honest, he's never going to become MVP unless he get buffed all the way up, and maybe get to, maybe even break the top one, who knows, okay, official leak, but don't sound on his banner, okay, it might sound, it might sound very hard to not sound on his banner, I'm even thinking about sounding on his banner, even though I already have Android 17, and I already know I have these characters, because I really do want to think Kyle look at him, does don't sum it on better. It's a, if you sum it on better, this is going to probably be one of the biggest mistakes you made, okay? I, like, like if you want to pick between these two, I would actually rather you sum it on this better than sum it on this. I mean, again, it's not guaranteed. Let's just limit it so it rolls it down. But, again, this better doesn't really have any top, like, crazy LF units. It only has. If you want Goku, Trunks, Trunks fell off the meta literally right when Beast Gohan came out. Or, no, right when Cooler came out, he felt the dang metal. Super Saiyan 3 Goku was obviously mad. And the attack Android is honestly the only good, like, the only breakable LF we have on here, okay? Besides, if you want Goku, Beast Gohan will straight up demolish him, okay? And when he switches to AT, Beast Gohan, Beast Gohan getting demolished, so. Number one, number two. Number three and number four. I'm saying right now. I mean, they're both red units and they're both green units. But what's so special about him? Like the special thing about him is that he have two ultimate attacks. The special thing about him is that he could dodge. And the special thing about them is that you know they're attack unit. The only special thing about him is nothing, unless you pair up with Tapion. I mean, Tapion literally have more special abilities than you have with him. Like, Tapion, he, he could get buffed with so many tags. And when he dies, Harunagon comes out. They're only freaking slaughtering your health. And then Tapion dies. Unlike Goku, some characters in this game actually have special abilities. And do I really have to be honest? I'm actually going to say that Super Saiyan Goku from the Nami Saga, LF, that came out years ago actually have more abilities than this dude. I'm about to say it right now. I mean, yes, Super Saiyan 3 Goku will straight up slaughter him. But the fact that he has more abilities than Super Saiyan 3 Goku is madness. Okay, yes, he has Dragon Fist and all that, and blah blah. They have Sharon coming out or the Dragon. Still, it's not really a special ability. I say that. Like Super Saiyan Goku, he could straight up. He could straight up. Cut your strike attack and your blast attack to use a special move that does so much dang damage. And only that, he could transform. And his and when he wins, his screen is absolutely mad uh, good. I mean, I'm not saying that Super Saiyan 3 Goku's outro screen when he wins is bad. I'm just saying all in the past was him holding his fist up and smiling. I mean, it, it's iconic, but not at the same time. So... Yeah. Oh, I actually prefer you summon on this better than summon on this. I mean, I know I said this better than this. No. No, sorry. Out of these two, well, I actually want you to summon on this better than this. I mean, it is guaranteed in that left. 
But the thing is that you can obviously get shafted on this. You can also get shafted on this too. Any banner that you don't want, you can get shafted. It's, it, even if it's an old banner that the character you want, you can still get shafted. It can even cost one. It can even cost a hundred kernel crystals. You will. You there will still be a chance that you will be able to get shafted. And that's just with all due respect. You will get shafted on this and pull literally the worst LF in the game, like I did, which is Golden. Like again, I think I'm gonna say Golden. I'm gonna say this: Golden might be a inch better than Beerus. Maybe. I mean, because Beerus doesn't have anything special. He can even have his equipment all the way leveled up to Z. All of his equipment. He would not do any damage. I even used him against a blue character. He didn't even take... He, in the first, like, freaking 30 cards, he didn't even take down 30% of his dang health. The blue character he only used, like, 5 cards and took down basically all of his health. So if that's what he do against a blue unit, probably when against a purple unit, like Ultra Gogeta Blue, Ultra Gogeta Blue, it takes one card. I'll tell you what. And when it comes to the blue brows, if they switch it to Vegeta, you already know it's over. Like I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this right here, right now in front of all y'all faces. Kill me if y'all don't agree. Wait, let me stretch. <sighs> boo boys. Just, I'm sorry. The boo boys is actually better than Tag Super percent for Goku and Vegeta. I'm just ten I'm just telling you right now. I'm gonna say this. Number one, we have Goku. You can't switch it to Vegeta. That's the that's the obviously bad part. But when Vegeta comes in, it doesn't matter what character you switch to. You're still getting demolished. And the thing is with Goku, if you if he going against Vegeta, Vegeta takes a lot of damage. If you switch it to Vegeta, Vegeta takes double the damage. Not gets double damage, he takes double the damage, which is bad. So yeah. So this is basically about what banners don't summon on. Hey, but the answer is none of them. Do not summon on none of them. I mean, I mean, don't don't summon on all of them. These banners sucks. These banners, these banners suck. This might be the best banner you could summon on today, and maybe tomorrow. I mean, because number one, number one, um. Oh, Cell is actually better than Trunks. Even though Trunks is the main headliner of this banner, Cell would, ob would obviously demolish him. Like, Paramount was a monster with Kid Boo, you would be at rank 70 in no time. So maybe this is the best banner you can summon on. And maybe this coming in second place. Maybe this coming in third. This coming in fourth. And then if you guys just want to summon on this banner, I don't even know what to tell y'all. Like, I literally, ha like me, I literally have every single character on here besides Top Crafters and Monster, which I don't plan on pulling. So, yeah. Like, if Beast Gohan was in this banner, I'll obviously tell you guys to summon on this. Even though at the same time, don't, because he's only the eighth best character in the game, Beast Gohan. Back then, he was number one in the game, demolishing all red units and maybe even some of green. Still, this banner obviously do not summon all. There's three LS on this banner, and to be honest, two of them are very mid. If you can guess who the two LS that are mid, then, then I don't know, then you're correct. If you said Mazda, Vegeta, and Rose, you're right. They're mid. They're mid. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is actually the... Is a demolisher when you pair him up with GT and any other good team that he can go with, like Saiyan. But the heck, what I'm saying right now is don't summon on this banner. And man, you can summon on the ticket banner. It's like I wouldn't mind just summoning on this banner, all that, all that. But these, but these, yeah, they're not even summoning on this banner. Even this, even this way, that give you a sparking metal, 50% chance for a sparking, and 100 freaking and 100 corner crystals for one summon. Okay, decent, decent. But still, uh, do not summon on this banner. I'm gonna keep on. Uh, do not summon on any banner, actually. What you can do is that if you want to prevent yourself from summoning on the banner, do not press. Oh God. Do not press. Do not press the summon button. Uh, do not press this monstrosity. 
do not press it. Just go on with your life. Give me get Chrono Crystals. And then when the anniversary comes, then you can come and press this dang summer button and then summon for the new characters again. I know there's some people that's like, I'm finna skip the first part, the second part, and wait till the third part when like Ultra Vegeta Blue comes out. If you doing that, you're exactly like my friend. That just that just says he excited for the anniversary. Just to never summon on the characters. And then before the anniversary ends, he's like, okay, I want to summon now. Too freaking late. You should have had. You know, you had all that time, but now you want to waste it by saving. What is going to be better than the anniversary besides Legends Festival? I'm going to do save up for freaking what? Like, I don't want to say they're going to have a freaking Super Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Heroes collab. I like didn't deal with Superhero, but. Yeah, man, just. Again, three tip. Uh, again, three good tips, three bad tips. I mean, now that that is not even tips. Three, three good tips, three bad things you shouldn't do. Okay, for the good tips, don't summon. Like one of these, I'm like I'm gonna say some good stuff, then I'm gonna say some bad stuff. Number one, don't summon, obviously. Number two, grind, how many, grind as much progress as you can get. And three, farm good resources for the anniversary, okay? For the bad things. One, summon. Two, do not grind. And three, spend all your resources before anniversary come. And obviously, you have to listen to the first one, which is don't summon, um, grind as many grind pitches as you can, and save up and, and farm up your resources. If you guys are planning to do the second thing, then you did not really hope if you guys have some Chrono Crystal spare. I really hope you guys just pull the LF. Because if you do, then luckily you have you just got lucky on the one banner and then got lucky on the second banner. Or maybe unlucky on the first banner and lucky on the second banner. Or just unlucky on the first banner and also unlucky on the second banner. The second banner that came before yeah. Like, before the anniversary, the last banner that we had got was... Like, I'm saying it's like it's anniversary now. It's not. It's coming out in five days. I mean, I'm satisfied now. So go to news. Now, I don't know if I can see it, actually. I think it's going to be right here. Okay, so right now I can't really see it. Eh. Okay. So this banner is honestly okay. Like all the characters that you see right now are pretty good besides Dispo. Uh besides Dispo and Super Saiyan 2, Califa and Kelsey. Other than those two, this banner is actually pretty good, okay? But one thousand Chrono Crystals for this banner, then that's not a still at all. Also, something stupid. For number two, it says EX or higher guaranteed. With a side of one sparking guaranteed. Is it EX or higher or one sparking? Because it should just be one sparking character. And the rest is just all EXs. Okay, that is actually... That actually can happen. But what if it's like an EX, but then it's also one sparking guaranteed? Like... Is it just all EXs or is it one sparky guarantee? Or is it just both? But I don't know, I'm getting off topic. The main point of this video is don't summon the fifth anniversary is five days away. It's 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 literally around the corner. Literally. It it would like literally. It will be here before you even know it. Like really, in the blink of an eye. And I bet there's uh, uh, I wouldn't be that person. But I bet there's a lot of y'all right here right now is probably blinking your eye and thinking that it's anniversary time. No. 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 Also, guys, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shadow Master. I always come up with Dragon Ball Legends videos. Maybe sometimes daily, maybe sometimes not. But if you guys can blow up this video, I will start uploading daily. Alright guys, that's the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Main point of the video, do not summon on any banner into anniversary time. Which is the anniversary banner? Alright, see you guys next time.